Fractions can be multiplied by other numbers, including other fractions. In this video, we will look at examples of multiplying fractions greater than 1. Let's start with an example. A recipe calls for 5 fourth cups of milk, and this recipe will be enough to feed 4 people. If you want to increase the recipe to feed 12 people, how many cups of milk are needed? If the basic recipe will feed 4 people, then to feed 12 people, the recipe needs to be increased by a factor of 3. Since 5 fourths cups of milk are needed for 4 people, then the amount needed for 12 people is represented by this expression. 5 fourths times 3. Since there are no common factors greater than 1 between the denominator and the whole number, then multiply the whole number and the numerator. The result is the improper fraction 15 over 4, which becomes the mixed number 3 and 3 fourths. Let's look at another example. What is the area of this rectangle? Express the result as a mixed number. While both the side lengths of the rectangle are shown as fractions, the length is a fraction greater than 1. To find the area, multiply both fractions, as shown here. Look for common factors greater than 1 for any pair of numerators and denominators from either fraction. Notice that 3 and 9 have a common factor of 3. Also, 2 and 14 have a common factor of 2. The highlighted numbers factor out. We are left with the improper fraction 7 thirds. This can be rewritten as the mixed number 2 and 1 third. Let's look at a final example. What is the volume of this rectangular prism? Express the result as a mixed number. The formula for the volume of a rectangular prism is shown here. Volume is equal to the product of length, L, times width, W, times height, H. Plug in the fraction value shown in the diagram. Note that two of the measurements are fractions greater than one. Look for common factors greater than one for any numerator-denominator combinations from any of the fractions. Notice that there are two common factors of 2 that will divide out two twos from the 8. The highlighted numbers will divide out. We are left with 5 times 7 times 2 in the numerator and 9 in the denominator. This becomes the improper fraction 70 over 9 which becomes the mixed number 7 and 7 ninths. 